All right, guys, we're gonna do a follow-up to our uh, cooking the steaks. So we did another Costco run. $14.39 a pound for prime ribeye. Remember I told you last time, just a month ago, it was $19.99, and normally we pay $14.99. $14.39 wasn't even on sale. Look, look guys, seven of these beauties. Seven of these beauties, look at this. Two and three quarter inch thick, each one of them. So, look at this. Today, we are going to do the pork loin. So, again, these are really for you know backyard guys. These are this, this is this is for you guys who you know hunt deer and are looking for the cut or feral hogs or or you know a wild boar or something like that. So look at this pork loin, a dollar ninety nine a pound. Costco. They don't do uh, ratings for pork like they do beef USDA, so they don't have that. All right. So you look at it. And you figure out, okay, what is what? Well, think of um, any animal. Think of the human body even. All right. The loin is that piece of muscle that runs on each side of your spine. From your neck towards your butt. All right. The top part is a little bit narrower. And it is called the rib section and the reason is obviously just like you your ribs are up top towards your neck all right and then as you come through here's the loin center they call the center cut and then back here is called the sirloin it comes back and attaches it to the muscles of the butt right although with pork butt that's actually the shoulder but let's not get there the end of the day is we're talking simple terms here, right? So that big muscle. So this is going to be less tender because where do you use? You use your lower back more than you use your upper back, right? And they're talking about core. This is what you're talking about, all right? Now, under, this is on each side of the outside, right, of your spine. On the inside of the spine, there is also another thing called loin. It's called tenderloin. And that is the piece that runs underneath here um, on the underside of the spine. It gets used very little, okay? Very little. So as a consequence, it is the uh, most tender of all of the cuts. But those are considerably smaller than these back straps. This back strap, really good so what we're gonna do is I told you loin whole thing rib loin center cut and then sirloin okay so those are the pieces we're gonna do we're gonna do a roast here about four inches maybe five something like that and a roast here four inches maybe five something like that and then we're gonna do chops and we do our chops just like everything else. We do our, everything just, you know, maybe a bit different than you, you have. Um, we are going to do Iowa style chops. And those are mm, inch and a quarter, inch and a half thick. And I love to use, uh, you know, my pampered shelf or William Sonoma uh, scrapers, well, L's. And this one is an inch and a half. So it's perfect for me to just lay down there and bang, bang, bang. Because you want them uniform, you know. And this just gets me to cut those nice chops real easy. But I'll cut these off first, and then we will cut the pork chops or Iowa chops out of the center loin. Right? All right, there you go. Five inch rib loin roast. This is actually four and three quarters inch rib, or I'm sorry, sirloin uh, roast and then 10 beautiful chops, Iowa style, inch and a half each. Now, here's something that you will notice uh, when you've been to the grocery store, you've seen them. So this rib, what I'm gonna call rib cap, you can see this, okay? So the, the center loin, and then you have sort of this rib cap. So L doesn't like that, even though this side is actually more tender, this roast is considered more tender uh, up towards the neck, you can see that rib cap 
fade away. And so then you get to the center and you don't have that. Okay, so all of these centers don't have it. Okay. Now, when you get down to the sirloin, um, it's a little bit tougher meat, but you can see it's a nice, dense piece of meat, which means, of course, your pork chops are going to be the same. And then your pork chops on this end, the, the, the roast and the front three, have a significant cap. So we'll just pull that out to show you. Like that, see? Look at that. I'm telling you. Guys, this was less than $16 for all of this. That's cut it yourself. Do it yourself. It's beautiful. All right, guys. So this is the package, yeah. So there's your um, sirloin roast. Here's your rib roast. Now you can see I told you that L doesn't like the uh, um, the rib roast, or, you know, the, that rib section cap. So I can put one of those together with a sirloin, um, more of the sirloin end. And I can do that for each one. And then, of course, at the end, I end up with these nice, big, clean pieces, you know. Um, you can do that because you're cutting it yourself, right? And you can cut it at an inch and a half or two inches if you want. Uh, and then, same thing with the ribeyes. You know, listen, unless you're, uh, if you believe that, you know, um, the world's going to collapse from climate change in the next five years, and you think that eating, uh, obviously, you know, market beef, um, you know, is somehow, you know, so horrible for you that, you know, it's going to likely kill you instead of make you stronger. Uh, the one thing I can honestly tell you, being an intelligence officer, is um, the spit blower, you know, revealed that there were going to be food shortages. That means the government, that means, you know, the government managers of our industries are telling the president that there are going to be shortages, okay? He doesn't know this. He's blowing spit bubbles. He doesn't know this, but he's parroting back what somebody just told him. And if he says that, there's going to be shortages. Right now, fourteen thirty-nine a pound ribeyes, $1.99 a pound. You can cut these yourself, prepare them as you want. And you know what? This is good man's food for right now. Yes, we want to be raising our own. We want to eat healthier. But when you're talking about the President of the United States in 2022 telling you that they believe there will be food shortages, there's a reason for that. So you need to get on your game. And I'm not saying, obviously, hoard stuff. But what I am saying is... Look at this, look at the density of this meat that you can go and buy in quantity. Costco had everything, tons of stuff. Uh, shelves were not short at all. So you're not, you know, being stupid and taking other people's, you know, opportunities away. And you're getting stuff, frankly, that most people don't buy because most people don't actually want to cut this themselves. But look what you get out of it. Look what you can do. You can tailor it, the product to exactly what you want. So it's a win-win. All right, guys, appreciate the support, and uh, we will get back to you soon. All right, out.